the Spanish fundraising convention in September in Barcelona for us on the beach at night, etc. And we had a, a similar kind of pretty much impromptu debate, wasn't it, Barcelona? It wasn't agendered. And it was amazing how divided the room was there. There were two or three NGOs who could only say how bad it was. And then there were two or three or four <coughs> others that were saying, but we're growing at the fastest rate ever next year. We're actually going to double our income. Very large international and <coughs> only one difference between those that were looking forward to next year and those that were suffering. And those that were suffering had actually cut all their fundraising, essentially. <coughs> those that were going to go literally double their monthly donor base were going to invest heavily in 2009 and were looking forward to it. That's in balance when I was doing all this research over the last few weeks. I really tried to find an article from <coughs> any expert, any consultant, anyone who's calling themselves. Said that the right thing to do right now was to be cut budgets. And I searched high and low using Google. I've got Google Alerts set up on all of the phrases. I've not found one single article. The only thing I've found is the odd fundraising director or CEO who's saying that that charity plans to cut costs. What I'm actually seeing is overall most people realizing that they need to increase costs. Anyone who provides services locally, so welfare services, <coughs> are really in a bit of worry. And also some of the rich charities that are <coughs> rich from trusts and foundations and their own investments, then uh, when you see who's been hit, you'll see that there's quite a lot of US, chari uh, US <coughs> organizations that have basically been relying on endowment funds that are really screwed and they're going to be really hurting. And to some extent, one thing that could knock on us is if they put their act together and start doing aggressive public fundraising, then we just might have more competitors flood the uh, area. I have no idea if that will happen. Thank you. 